Hey guys, one up Indie here coming with a new update on the newest version of Game Maker Studio where they added a lot of quality changes and the best ones are upfront and <laughs> that stuff. So basically we're getting three new effects, which is, let's go out, the heat haze. So basically a permanent heat distortion shader, which is pretty cool because um, you don't have to go into, well, the effect and then change it all the time, it does it automatically for you. Pretty cool stuff. So basically this is a permanently changing um, filter applied to the screen. And then this is of course easier if you just wanna instantly use it. Pretty cool stuff. Then we got the twirl, twirl it. And then it's a little bit <laughs> wonky if you zoom in and out. Not sure if that is intended. You can twirl it, get rid of that. And then of course we got this dude here sweet 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 so kind of the underwater uh, kind of interesting so this shadering kind of strangely i guess this is just for the preview maybe maybe not didn't actually test it so these are the newer features and then the other stuff well let's go over that yeah let's ignore this dude here then editability to omit arguments on functions calls so basically, normally you needed for a function uh, something to put in, but now you can actually input just uh, nothing in there and then it won't throw an error and then crash your game. So this is the newest thing. Then you got the new nullish operator, quality changes, yay. And then we got the newest room instance inspector and this is glorious. Uh, not really. So basically <laughs> what it does, it is uh, you go, uh, let's say, on an object, then you can preview it. Normally, for example, you would double click it or in the room, you would double click the instance to check it out. But now you got the newest, the best uh, inspector and then boom, you got it here. And then for example, if you just go under that, you can kind of preview a few things. Okay. And or you can do something like this and get rid of the inspector. Not sure if I'm gonna use it because this is, it looks a little bit cleaner and easier for me, but this is of course up to you guys. And then the next thing, what do we got? Added several new room, blah, 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 filter layers. Yes, this is the one stuff I showed you. So basically the haze, twirl and distort and underwater filter applied. Then now we're gonna skip on this one. This is about sounds, not too terribly interesting for most people, then added uh, the ability to switch off the kerning of a font. And if you're thinking like me, kerning, kerning, what, 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 what is that? Well, it's typography and basically it's just so it's nicely and more readable. So as you can see here, this is a nice on the right side uh, preview. So this has an invisible line in the middle, which is separating each letter uh, from uh, the other one and then for example if you just cram them a little bit together then this stuff is called kerning so it looks more pleasing to the eye and it's easier to read and this is basically it you can just turn it off uh, where can you turn it off just go on the fonts and then you go on the options and then you basically can, you can turn it off if you like um yay from my side uh, i know it's uh, <laughs> best feature ever but i guess it's quality changes why not maybe you have some issues and you want to disable it not an issue now all right then spine support for the 4.0 version can't say anything about that it's always good for the newest version and then um uh, they updated it to they changed it for for app developers for most people it won't be it's not interesting this is just for the Android API. So basically, if you are doing and developing for mobile, then this is important for you because I guess it had some crashes or whatever on Android 12 devices. And then, well, they fixed it. Then changes to the workspace. Basically, you can just redefine and rebind your keys. Yay. And then, um, what else do we got? There was some autocomplete function and basically old stuff is not being autocompleted now because I guess they removed it or they just want, don't want to um, uh, well, show you some stuff which is irrelevant in the future anyway. And then some quality features. I guess this is the most important one. So here this should lower over a RAM usage. So basically they try to optimize the system and make it more efficient concerning how 
well it behaved because i saw on the 2.3.6 and 2.3.5 uh, uh, downgrade concerning the performance and i guess they updated it now and they changed a few things so basically um, they are loading now asynchronously the thumbnails of the asset browsers basically the stuff on the right side where is the asset browser that duty on the right side and then um, they just load it in i guess faster or asynchronously so basically uh, this should be good for performance if you have tons of assets in there so for example if you have like a bazillions of uh, little uh, sprites like me and then boom you the the project is getting uh, uh, well just loaded the stuff in which it needs which is pretty good so basically this is just for performance alrighty i guess this is it once again best feature ever here uh, the new stuff which is <laughs> the bling bling the shenanigans the cool stuff which you can look at and then all right that was it have a good one one up indeed